Hello everybody, this is Training Gamer here to kick off round 2 for Group E. Group B was probably the most epic round of group games we've seen so far in this tournament. And we've got four more matches to go through, so let's have a look what we've got in this session. Okay, up first we have got Jurassic Expert taking a crack at Keontae. Then we'll see MEJP10 fresh off their 3-0 victory over Arctic Warriors taking a crack at Kaijon Cooper. Then we will see Prism Bow looking for a bit for better fortunes taking on Aaron Plays and all that before our main event of this session. Suffer suffering their 3-0 defeat against that Emmy in their first match, taking on the third place winner of last year's tournament, Ma. That'd be an interesting main event, certainly. But we got Jurassic Expert V Keonte first. Right, in the red corner for Jurassic Experts, we have got Ampler Source. Jurassic Experts got off to a winning start against Prismbo in their debut, although it was a pretty tight game. And I think this will be a tight match as well. In the blue corner for Keontae, we got Spinosaurus Keontae. Stuff uh, didn't get the uh, start they wanted. Losing out to Man, but you know, they did have some good moments in that match before Marn pulled away. Uh, right, we'll double check. We are on the meadow field, which is good news for nobody because nobody has grass types in this matchup. Ooh, that's a good start from Keontae getting the crit off the bat. Ooh, I, this is a tough one to call. I feel like with the Omega armor, I do feel like maybe Jurassic Experts has the slight edge given how prevalent armoured dinosaurs have been in this tournament so far, but so far, it is Keontae getting all the hits. Oops, it's a type. This Ampelosaurus didn't really see what it can do in uh, against Prison Bow, and yet again it goes down like a lead brick. Right, speak of the devil. Here he is. It is Omega Eocarcaria. The main reason why Jurassic Experts won in the first round. Now, it does have tight disadvantage against the Spino, which could be a problem. However, it, it can chip away at the Spino. It could fill up that armor bar. We might see some Omega armor in this matchup. Of course, that only applies if Jurassic Experts gets hit, and so far, it's been all Keontae. Oh, what? Well. Well, there's one hit. I think this is a Crimson Flame because this guy's annoying and like making things difficult for me. <laughs> I could do it, you know. I could botch this move. Just out of spite, I could botch this move for you. But I won't because I'm nice. But it's going to be a big damage. Look at the spider. He's like, <laughs> he's like a sloppy salmon. Okay, yeah, so type disadvantage doesn't apply with those moves, so normal damage is down. That was a big hit there from Jurassic Experts. Ooh, another hit. Boosh. But yeah, look at that, the type advantage there, limiting the damage Spinosaurus takes. But a Jurassic Experts is getting hits on the board, and Spinosaurus goes down. Hope for Slash. Oh, you know, coming in next for Keontae, we have got Super Tank. Awaken mode on four. Both of our guys do have Super Earth types in their teams. Jurassic Experts with Super Sora Pelter and Keontae with this Super Tank. So not only could armor be a factor in this match, Awaken mode could be a factor in this contest as well. Tank gets the next hit. Right, that's one. The tie. That bar is getting full though. That could be a problem for Keontae. But that's a big hit from Tank. It's gonna be a spiky arrows. <laughs> Blech. 
Oh, hello. What we got here? It's an Earth Barrier. Big shot back from Kion then. Right, that was twice. Well, if Jurassic Experts wants to see some Omega armor, they need to get hits. And do get one. The burning dash coming in here. Now, the Earth Barrier is in effect, so Tank won't take too much damage. But more importantly for Jurassic Experts, it does fill up the Omega armor bar at the bottom. I think two more hits, and we'll see some Omega armor. Or two ties. Ooh, the Crystal Crusher getting triggered there. Okay, that's price. One more for the Awaken mode. Which I'm pretty confident we're going to see in this match. Ooh, that's a tie. But the Crystal Crusher is going to allow Tank to get the next hit on the board. Oh, it's at the turning point. Massive moment in the match that could be. Without Crystal Crusher, we probably do see Heat Eruption. Right, coming in next, four Jurassic Experts. We've got Sauropelta, Super Sauropelta. Awaken mode on three. Now, one more hit from the side chain. Tank, or if Tank gets hit, we will see Awaken mode. So, Keonte, big opportunity here to get a bonus point win. Okay, there's a hit. It's a crit, a massive crit. Keonte has really turned the screw in this match now. Okay, so based on that, even without the Crystal Crusher, the Omega Armor wouldn't have activated. Eel area would have gone down. But now... Can, can Jurassic Experts survive? Oh, he can't! That's game over. Game over for Jurassic Experts, and that's a bonus point victory for Keonte. And you have to say, well played. Jurassic Experts just didn't get going. Just couldn't get going. Almost got the Omega armor, but he didn't do enough. But it was a very well-controlled performance by Keonte to get their first win of this tournament. Right, on to our next matchup now. Right then, in the red corner, representing MEJP10, we have got an ulti Rhinus. Well, we all saw what this beast of a uh, brute can do. <laughs> MEJP10 getting that 3 0 victory in their first match. I mean, their first match couldn't have gone any sweeter. Okie dokie, in the blue corner, representing Kaijong Cooper, we've got Penticeratops. Well, Kaijon was part of the epic tie against Aaron Plays in, la in the last round. Which is, for me, match of the tournament so far. That was awesome. Now, what's interesting about this matchup in particular is that both guys have Euoprocephalus in second and both have Torvosaurus in third. So yeah, no secret dinosaurs, no terrain advantages. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Now that's a good start for Kaijon. To be an interesting match. We'll see if, like, to be honest, I think the 3 0 was a freak result. But that was completely unexpected. So I doubt that he's going to win 3 0 again, particularly against an opponent that has never lost in the group stage, I might add. Although they did fail to win for the first time in against Aaron Place. It's tight. Oh, well, this ulti Rhinus is going to do nout in this matchup because it's going down. Now, Emmy can pull this back easily because the Rockless Heflis that's coming in next will have type advantage over Penticeratops. Boosh! But yeah, ulti Rhinus going down. The Galley Rush coming in there, and it's a strong start from Kaijong. Right, coming in next for Emmy, we got a Wapplecephalus. Hmm, I'm starting to feel like this should have been the main event. You know, two very similar teams. Emmy coming off a 3 0 win. Kaijon still undefeated in a group stage match. This should have been the main event. Three, four. Well, it's freaking Kaijong getting all the hits in this match. 
and he's good. Well, <laughs> this would be funny if Kaijong won 3 0. <laughs> Talk about a contrast in results. But no, no, we don't want a 3 now. Okay, there's another tie. But Emmy needs to get a hit and he needs one quick. Okay, the Quake Saber. A Quake Saber would be nice. And they do get the Quake Saber. Massive hit from Euoplocephalus. This is going to do big damage, particularly with a type advantage. It might be lethal. Oh, I almost was. Elemental power coming in as well. And an Earth Barrier. That's going to help there. Massive hit from Emmy JB10. Their first shot of the match, and it's certainly a big one. And yep, there goes Pudgy Ceratops. The elemental power has been maxed up as well. That'll come in handy. And we are level packing. Emmy JE10 coming back into this contest. Right, coming in next for Kaijon Koopa, we got Iwatlacephalus. Now, the problem here is that the elemental power of any Iwatlacephalus is maxed up, so these Earth moves are going to do less damage than they normally would. So that could be a problem for Kaijon here. But, and he's got the Earth Barrier to get through as well. So even though he's got the health lead, I feel like Emmy does have the edge now. Oh, that's a tie, but ties will help Kaijon more. Another tie. Ooh, another hit from the Wattlecephalus. And look at this, Emmy JP10 right back in this contest. In fact, these two have very similar movesets as well. Okay, there goes the Earth Barrier. But yeah, look at that. Limited damage out there. Ooh, and Kaijong getting an Earth Barrier of his own. Now, you could say the match has swung back in Kaijong's favour. Oh, that's a massive hit, despite the elemental power. That is going to be curtains for Euoplocephalus. Seeing some Quake Sabers here, and that is lethal for Euoplocephalus. Right, coming in third for MEJP10, we've got the Hunter-type Torphosaurus. At least I think it's Hunter-type. I might be wrong. I probably am. Well, Kaijon... Definitely has the upper hand now. The Earth Barrier is still in effect as well. So Torvasaurus will probably need three hits to kill this Rockless Ephraims. Yeah, the Earth Barrier, I mean, if she gets a crit, then okay, yeah, I think that would probably be lethal. But needs to get rid of the Earth Barrier and does. Ooh, that's a crit block and a tie bomb. <laughs> that looks familiar, doesn't it? Critical block. Tie bomb coming in as well. That could be just what Emmy needs to get rid of this Euoplocephalus. Right, that means that the Torvosaurus will be going for a crit. Ooh, you can't go rock. Oh, gets that crit. That's going to be curtains for Euoplocephalus. And yet again, we are level packing. But Kaijon has the Torvosaurus, Super Torvosaurus, I might add, coming in third. The Awaken Mode will be on three. That Awaken Mode could decide who wins and who loses this match. Right, coming in for Kaijon's third dino, we got Torvosaurus, Super Torvosaurus. Awaken Mode on three, like I just said. All fire moves. Hmm. This, this is going to the wire. This has been a really good contest, back and forth, just when you thought one had the edge, the other one comes back into it, and vice versa. But this is what it's all about. Oh, that's a tie. Okay, no heat eruption, so... And neither a tie type, so... Ties don't really help anybody. Ooh, but that'll help Kaijon. Another hit on the board. That's once. Ooh, doesn't want to get a crit block. He doesn't want to get a hit by a crit block, yeah. If you're Kaijon. Neither does he want to get hit by that! That could be a massive hit from Emmy JP10. It's a firebomb. And the tie bomb's gonna come in as well. Oh, look at that! 
is Kai Jong going to taste defeat in the group stage for the first time? Ooh, that's a tie. I hope this might be lethal. The tie bomb. Oh, look at that! All those lethal damage. Kai Jong clinging by a thread. And that's it. Game over for Kai Jong Cooper. And they taste defeat in the group stage for the first time. And it's NEJP10's victory. And a very well earned victory as well. Wow, that was really good. And MEJP10, two from two so far. Is this going to be their tournament? Well, it's a bit early to say that. <laughs> right, on the match number three. You know, Slash, right in the red corner, representing Prison Bow, we have got Paris. Paris Dino Tactor. <laughs> Now, Prison Bow did lose in their debut match, but I thought they had a good... I thought it was a pretty good match against Jurassic Experts. You know, they definitely showed a lot in that contest. Bing, bing, bing. And, you know, even though it was... They got the Dino Tector, you know, they, they got moments in that match. Right, in the blue corner, for Aaron Plays, we have got... Mataburosaurus, and well... <laughs> Aaron Plays getting up getting that amazing draw in the main event during their debut. I mean, come on, has anyone ever, any newcomer has had a better debut than Aaron Blaze? <laughs> I mean, even though he didn't win, you know, to get a draw in these tournaments is so, so rare. You'd love to see it. But in this matchup, this could be interesting, because both got Dino Tactors. Depend again, it could come down to who plays them better. And that's a good start there from Prison Bow. Getting the nature's blessing as well. A solid start from Paris. Oh, another tie. Well, Aaron plays had a good start against Kaijon, but he's not getting one this time. It's another tie. And that bar's filling up, which is bad news for Aaron plays, but very good news for, for Prison Bow. But that's a much needed Bigfoot assault from Mutaburosaurus. Massive hit from Aaron Plays. Oh no! Ooh, but the Emerald Garden has been triggered. That could be a big. This could be a big Emerald Garden, this. Because not only will it heal up Paris, but it will fill the Dino Tector as well. So this could be a key moment here. And he gets it! Paris gets the Emerald Garden! Gonna heal up, steal away Mutnaburosaurus' HP. This could be a big swing. Oh, he freaking killed it! Oh, well, this could be a big swing in momentum. Because now... Uh, hello? <laughs> I thought it stopped lagging. Ooh, now Aaron Plays is in big trouble here, because coming in next is Ankylosaurus. Not only will it have tight disadvantage against Paris, which will make it harder to kill, but now he could have an ultimate leaf to deal with. And given he'll probably need about three hits to kill Paris, maybe two crits, the odds are we, we're going to see ultimate leaf in this match. Well, well, here we go. Do not take that on! You have to say... That Emerald Garden hit. That could be a big factor in this match. Okay, he gets the hit. So he survived that scare. But it's, it's still going to have to get another hit. What are you lagging for? In fact, he'll probably need another two. Or maybe a crit will do it. Okay, well he's not going to get a crit here. Okay, there's a tie. If Aaron Plays survives this, this, that would be extraordinary. Oh, he's gonna survive it! This kamikaze tackle is gonna be lethal for Paris, and that's a massive opportunity for Prison Bow missed. Whoa, <laughs> and breathe. <laughs> massive sigh of relief from Aaron Play. I honestly thought he was sunk. But if Paris, with the type advantage, gets the hit, that's probably lethal for Ankylosaurus. And Prison Bow goes 2-0 up. 
Right, coming in next for Prison Bow, we got Yang Chongasaurus. And Aaron plays getting right back in this match. Hmm. And getting another hit and taking the lead. Well, with those hits, the turning point. It might be another hit from Aaron plays. An Earth Barrier coming in as well. Wow, this match's momentum has done a 180 big time. Just when Prison Bro looked like they could go 2 0 up, massive opportunity missed, and now. Aaron Plays has the lead. Okay, there's a Magma Blaster, which is going to get rid of the Earth Barrier. So not the end of the world there for Aaron Plays. The Magma Blaster will be gone. Oh, hello. Vault of Flare Sword. Going to increase the damage done. Jeez, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> and Prison Bow goes back in front. I mean, I say they're in front, but let's be honest, it's not re you can't call it a lead. Ooh, well, it's Aaron Plays going 2-1 up. And Yang Chungasaurus bites the dust. Right, coming in third for Prison Bow, we've got Laxosaurus. Well, you've got to start thinking, how costly was that? Was not getting the ultimate leap off. With Spiny Tector coming in third as well for Aaron plays. Prison Bow may have missed their opportunity. Okay, that's another tie. The Quake Saber of the Lex over Source is going to get triggered. Oh, but it's another crit from Ankylosaurus. Jeez, the damage because it's Crisis type. Can Aaron plays get the bonus point? Okay, I don't think he's going to get the bonus point yet. This Venom Fang is going to be lethal for Ankylosaurus. But wow, from practically ending up going possibly 2-0 down to a 75% HP Paris Dino Tactic to on the brink of a bonus point victory. And now, one hit from this Spiny Tactic will get the victory for Aaron Plays. Right, coming in for Aaron Plays, we got uh, Spiny Tector, of course. But I doubt we're gonna. Well, we won't see Dino Tector in this match. Lexothosaurus doesn't have enough health to tank enough hits. All Aaron Plays needs is one hit, and it'll be game over for Prison Bow. But can he get that hit? And as for Prison Bow, can they salvage a losing bonus point? Okay, a tie. Ooh, hello! A Quake Saber! And this Lexovasaurus is lethal type, so this is going to do a lot of damage. I think this will secure the losing bonus point for Prison Bow. Whoa, it's done more than that! He's even the score! Oh my god, if Aaron plays, get if this ends in a draw... Wait. Is this going to be another draw? Oh my god, it's another draw! Well... <laughs> is that, he's done it again. Aaron Plays has done it again and got a draw. That was, that was a crazy match. Aaron Plays is our draw specialist, ladies and gentlemen. you got to go in the Hall of Fame. Two draws for Aaron <laughs> Oh, Aaron plays. Well, better than losing, I suppose, but that's the two draws for Aaron plays in this tournament so far. Has that ever... That's never happened before. We never had one person get more than one draw. That's incredible. But you would say this match in particular, you know, missed opportunities for both guys. Prison Bow with the Dino Tech that Aaron plays needed that hit with the Yankee... Or, or with the spinal tech that didn't get it, you know, those margins cost both of them the win, and both have to settle for a draw. Right then, 
Well, I don't know how our main event's going to top these matches, but let's find out, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Arctic Warriors, we've got a Kentrosaurus. Arctic Warriors bruised and battered after suffering that 3 0 defeat against MEG E10. I mean, let's be honest, that was a freak result. But they do need to respond here. The defeat is one thing, it's all about the response now. But it's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, representing Marn, we've got Sorofagonites. Marn, you could argue, the favourite to get up to top this group. So it's a tough spot to be in if you're Arctic Warriors. But it's the perfect tonic to get over a 3-0 defeat. Because if you get a win, then well, you... Wow, what a win. Uh, right, we are on the Dirt Plains field, which favours Lightning types. Oh, we start with a tie. Now, even though I praised this Sorofagonax in Marn's last match, we didn't really... it didn't really get going. I don't even think it got a hit. Well, it's getting a hit in this one, and it's a big one. It's the Kamikaze tackle. This is Kamikaze, because you're running headfirst into a bunch of spikes. But look at the damage done there. Massive hit from Marn. Oh, that's a tie. And Kentrosaurus goes down. Oh, is it happening again for Arctic Warriors? I, I sure hope not. Right, coming in next for Arctic Warriors, we've got Mega Raptor. Now, normally, it would have type disadvantage against the Fagnax, but the Fagnax doesn't have any fire moves, so... There's a, there's a bonus for Arctic Warriors there. But this Mega Raptor needs to fire, and fire quick. Because Marn is on top. Oh, um, oh no. <laughs> There's another hit. Come on, give Arctic Warriors a hit. They haven't even had, I don't think they've had a hit in this whole tournament. Hey! Let's all, let's all do the golf clap in chat for Arctic Warriors' first official hit in this tournament. Okay, that's a bit harsh. They, they did get hit, they did get a hit against Arctic Warriors. <laughs> um, Amy J. Eaton. Come on, Arctic Warriors, you can do this. The tie. I mean, I wasn't rooting for him because I felt bad for him in the first match. You know, I'm, u I'm usually neutral in these contests, but when someone gets beaten as badly as Arctic Warriors did in the first round, you, you kind of root for him to bounce back. It's nothing personal, man. Well, rooting for them or not, it's been man's match so far. And they're going to go 2-0 up. Okay, Super Mimus is all up to you. Can Arctic Warriors pull this pack? It's going to be super tough against Marn's team. Marn, looking really strong. But I have faith in this Super Mimus. But yeah, we're really seeing how effective this Soros Baganax can be. Oh, please don't be a crit. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, there we go. Super Mike. There we go, Arctic Warriors. It's not going to get 3 0 in this match as the Soros Baganax goes down. Oh, hang on. Mom does have a lightning dinosaur, so Mom will get to an advantage in this match. Oh my god, it's going to be a crit as well. <laughs> oh well. Okay, what is that? It's a stomping hammer, isn't it? Right, coming in for Man's second I know we got Taurosaurus. It's going to have terrain advantage. It's going to get off a crit. Let's be honest. It's probably going to one-shot the Suko. But let's find out. Okay, so there's the attack burst. I think I think it's attack burst. Might be attack boost. Here's a stomping hammer. Boosh! Boosh! He's probably going to get off electric charge as well. Not that he needs it, because one hit's going to kill the Super Mimes anyway. Oh, he doesn't. Um, and he's got type disadvantage as well. There's a tie. Okay, it's another hit. Arctic Warriors at least not going down without a fight.
And yeah, there it is. Bonus point win for Man. Arctic Warriors licking their wounds again. And let's be honest, I know people will say, oh, well, he got the terrain advantage, he got a big crit. Let's be honest, the way that match was going, I think Marne was going to win anyway. Right, well, that was the underwhelming main event. I should have picked up the third match to be the main event. Right, we'll have a look at the table and we will end the session. Well, that's Group E, ladies and gentlemen. MEJP10, two from two so far, eight points. Marne in second place, seven points after that bonus point victory. Chionte getting off to getting their first win in third place on four points. Jurassic Experts on four on their fourth. Then we have Aaron plays after the, amazingly another draw on two points. Kaijon getting that losing bonus point and getting two points. Prison Bow getting off the mark as well with the with the uh, draw against Aaron plays and then poor old Arctic Warriors rooted at the bottom. But yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.